particular issue. Uh, today we were running an exercise for a company, bearing in mind I'm now in the private sector, and we sat everybody down in the city, a thousand people involved in the whole organization, but the crisis team, and the most peculiar thing was we based our scenario on the simultaneous attacks on the underground and mainline station. So we had to suddenly switch an exercise from fictional to real. And one of the first things is, get that bureau number. When you have a list of people missing, tell them. And so it took a long to, time. Just to get this right, you were actually working today on an exercise that envisioned yes. virtually this scenario. Uh, almost precisely. I was up until 2 o'clock this morning because it, it's our job. My own company, Visor Consultants, we specialize in helping people to get their crisis management response. How do you jump from slow time thinking to quick time doing? And we chose a scenario with their assistance which is based on a terrorist attack because they're very close to uh, a property occupied by Jewish businessmen. They're in the city and there are more American banks in the city than there are in the whole of New York. A logical thing to do. And it, I've still so got how, the... I was going to say, how extraordinary today <laughs> must feel for you as, as it unfolds. You, you mentioned a few moments ago there our experience with Irish Republican terrorism. Yeah. And of course, it, it was very different, wasn't it? Because however perverted their behavior, the IRA believed itself to have some sort of code of honor and tended to issue warnings, although of course they often came late to do any good.